In this video, we're going to create a search form in Google Sheets via Apps Script that allows you to do mass updates, mass deletes, add multiple records at the same time, search, and pull back multiple records from a data set. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to build today. On this first sheet, we have our form with all of our different buttons. On the second sheet, I have a data set of employee records. We have field for employee ID, first name, last name, department, and location. And just to show you what this search form can do, I have a drop-down menu here that allows me to search on any field I want in my data set. So if I want to search by department, I can select department, key in the IT department, click search, and it will pull back everyone who works in the IT department. I can clear out this data with the clear button. I can search by branch location. So if I want to find everyone who works at branch number three, and click search and this pulls back all the employees from branch number three. I can also do mass updates so if everyone from branch number three went to a new branch, branch number five because branch three closed down, over here in my previous value I can type branch three and then in this update value I can enter branch 5 to update the previous value to branch 5 so everywhere on our records sheet where you see branch 3 we should now see branch 5 when I hit update and there it is so the first thing we want to do is add our drop down menu so I'll click on that cell here go up to data data validation. We want this first option list from a range. I'm going to click over here to get this prompt to select a range. I'm going to select this row of headers here, click OK, and then save. And now we have our drop down menu. So now we want to begin writing the code for our first script button, which is the search button. So I'm going to go to extensions, app script. We'll call this project form the name of this function is going to be called search and to save time and not make this video so terribly long I'm going to paste in code I've already created and just run through it really quick so our first variable here is called spreadsheet SS and that is equal to the spreadsheet application and then get active spreadsheet to get the spreadsheet we're in now our next variable is called sheet records and this represents the sheet named records so that's equal to our spreadsheet variable get sheet by name and records same story for our sheet form variable we have that equal to spreadsheet variable and then get sheet by name form we have a variable called records which is equal to our sheet records variable and get data range and get values this holds this entire data range of employee records as a two-dimensional array variable. So we have a variable called search field that is equal to our form sheet variable in the get range A2 get value. We then have a variable called search value that's also equal to our sheet form variable get range a5 get value so those two variables are here and here so we have the field to search by and then the search value for that field so we said hr those two variables would store the department and hr in those variable values so we have a search index variable and that is equal to our records 
2D array variable, and then we have this set of brackets here because we're telling it we want to look at the first row, and the count in arrays in App Script begins at zero. So this is the first row in our employee records 2D array. So that is our row of headers. And what we want to do is get the index of our search field variable to get the number position of where that search column is found in that row of headers. So then we have a variable called results. That is equal to our two-dimensional array records variable, holds all of our employee records. And then we apply the filter method to that array. And what the filter method does is it allows you to pass a function within it. So you can see we have the same syntax for a function like you would up here. This time we inserted a parameter, just a variable called E, which really just represents the collection of rows in that array variable records. So we have the action we want to perform inside these curly brackets, which begins with the keyword return because we want to return something. And then we have our row variable there. And then in brackets here, we have the search index variable to get the column we want to filter on. And then we want to test to see if anything in that column is equal to our search value variable. So if that test is met, then we want to store the output of that filter in this results variable. Then from there, what we want to do is back on our form sheet, we want to get the range that begins in cell C2 and write the results in this area here. So we have our form sheet, get range. We want to begin on row two. We want to begin in column three. For the number of rows, we want to go down. That's an unknown. It depends on our filter results. So we want to reference our results to the array and get the length of it. What this length will do is get the length of the outer array, which is the number of rows. We want to do a similar thing for the number of columns we have, but this time we're going to reference our results 2D array again and then get the first row in that array, which the length of a row, a single row, is what's inside of it and what's inside of a row, which is columns. So this gets us the number of columns we have. And then we want to set the values equal to what's stored in our results variable. After that, we just want to add borders all the way around that results that's written to our form sheet. So I'm going to hit save here. We're going to come back over here. We're going to insert a drawing to draw a button on there. So I'm just going to click shapes, get a rectangle. I'm going to click in it. Give it a label, search, save, and close, and we'll move this over here. I'm going to click here, assign a script. The name of our script is called search. Click OK. Now, currently, we have this set to search by department and HR department as our search criteria. So I'm going to click search. We're going to have to authorize this, so I'm going to click continue click on the Google account I'm using, go to advanced, scroll down, click on the project name form, scroll down one more time, click allow. Now we'll have to click this one more time. This was just a one time only deal to authorize it. So now I'll click again. You can see this produces results for everyone that works in the HR department. Now if I want to change this to location, this time we'll Set branch number three is our criteria. Click search, and this produces everyone who works at branch number three. So now we want to write the code for our clear button to clear out any data that is in this area here. 
So we're going to go back into our script editor. I'm going to add a new function called clear. And again, I'm just going to paste in code that I've already created here. So these first two variables should look familiar. We have a variable called ss for our spreadsheet. Get the active spreadsheet we're in now. We have a sheet variable for form, which gets the form sheet. Then we have a variable called last row. And this last row is a little different from probably most last row variables that you've seen before because we're getting it on a specific column. We're looking at cell C2 on the form sheet and then we're using a method called get next data cell spreadsheet app direction down because we only want to get the last row in column C because if we just use last row by itself we would return this row number here and we don't want that so that gets us the last row in the area we want it to be so then we have our form sheet get range C2 through G plus last row our last row variable and then clear the contents now that will clear both the contents and all of the formatting so what I also want to do is get cell A5 and clear that out which that will clear the formatting as well so what we want to do is add borders back to that single cell so I'm gonna hit save here we'll draw in a new button Call this clear, save and close. Name of our function is called clear, so we'll click OK. Run this, and everything is cleared. 